In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to transfer Google Photos from one account to another up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of tech tutorials, reviews, and do-it-yourself projects. So if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing. So transferring photos from one account to another is a great idea if you've got a Google Photos account. Uh, as an example, my wife and I both have Google Pixel phones and um, both of our phones are linked to our own individual Google Photos accounts and sometimes I may want to share photos with her and she may want to share photos with me. In addition to that, uh, we want to merge all of our photos together. If you've got a spouse that you want to share photos with, friends or other family members, uh, if you create another Google Photos account, just in case something happens to your initial Google Photos account, if you happen to get hacked and somebody logs in and decides to delete all of your photos, then they are gone. By transferring photos from one account to another, you're essentially backing up all those photos on your account. The first thing you are going to want to do is if you're on your mobile device go into the Google Photos app and then from this point just to explain to you to make this as easy as possible I've created two Google Photos accounts and only placed a couple of photos in there so that this goes a little bit quicker for tutorial purposes. The first account that I've created has this Spider-Man icon in the upper right. This is my Spider-Man Zebras Google Photos account and this currently has all of my pictures stored in it. I am going to be transferring all of these pictures over to my second account and this second account is going to be my Jeff Loves Star Wars account which has Baby Yoda or the child as the icon. So you can easily tell which account I am using. Mm -hmm. So right now this uh, Star Wars account, the Jeff Loves Star Wars account, does not currently have any Google Photos in it. I'm going to jump back to the Spider-Man account and as you can see under my Spider-Man account if I go to the recently added these are all the photos that are under that account. I will be showing you how to do the entire account transfer. Stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you how to do just individual photo transfers or if you just want to do a selected amount. So in order to share these photos with my other account or transfer them over, what I'm going to want to do is go back to the main screen of my Google Photos and then in the upper right corner where I've got the Spider-Man icon, I can click on that and in the middle of the screen there is Photo Settings. It's got the little gear icon. I'm going to click on that. This brings me into all the different settings that I can do with my Google Photos. About halfway down on this list, you're going to see Partner Sharing to automatically share photos with a partner. And I'm going to click on that, and it's going to say Share Your Photos with a Partner. First, select your partner, and then choose what you want to share. So I'm going to click on Get Started. From this point, I can type in a name or an email address. So I'm going to type in that Jeff Loves Star Wars. So I found my Jeff Loves Star Wars account. I'm going to select that. And then from this point, it's going to allow me to grant access to all of my photos or just photos of specific people. I can also show, as far as older photos, uh, only show photos since a certain day. And if I click on that, it'll actually allow me to choose a date. For this tutorial here, we're going to transfer all photos. And I'm going to click Next. And then it's going to say, Confirm sharing as Spider-Man Zebras at gmail.com. And I'm sharing with my other account. So we are going to send that invitation. Right after that, it says, on my phone, shared library invitation from Jeff Soroka. I can click on that because I've already got that account also linked on my phone. Partner sharing invitation, it's letting me know that my other account, the Spider-Man account, is granting me access to their photos. So I'm going to click accept. And real quick, as we do in all of our videos on this channel, we hide Tinker. He's our little hidden robot, and he briefly pops up somewhere during all of our videos. If you happen to spot him popping up in this video, take note of the time or the timestamp of when he popped up in this video, and let me know that down in the comments section below for your chance to get your name and your YouTube channel, if you have one, featured on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So something else in addition to that pop-up message for the sharing invitation is Google is also going to send an invitation by email to whatever email address you have linked. 
to your Google Photos account. So in this instance, I'm under my email and I can see here that I've granted access to the photos in my Spider-Man Photos account. And I can actually click to open Google Photos right from this email. So once I've accepted that invitation, I also get a message pop up on Google Photos if I wanna share back to my previous account. Any photos that are in my new account, so my Star Wars account, I can also share those back to my Spider-Man account. However, right now I am not gonna do that because we're gonna work on transferring that older account, but that is another option that you're gonna get. So I'm gonna X out of that. And then now that I'm under these photos, right at the top here, it's gonna say turn on auto save. And I can click on that and it'll give me options here whether I want to uh, save all photos or none. Right now this is set to none. If I change this to all photos, that is gonna start saving those shared photos to my new account. So we're gonna change that to all photos. I'm gonna click done. Now it says saving all photos. So all of these photos that we see here are going to get transferred over and saved to this Star Wars Google Photos account. So from this point, it's a waiting game of having all of your photos and videos transferred to the other account. In reading support forums online, the larger your collection, the more time it's gonna take, and in some instances, it can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to transfer your entire collection. Um, videos take longer than pictures themselves, so it is kind of a waiting game, and you do wanna make sure that you see all of your photos transferred over before you decide to do anything with your previous Google Photos account. So you'll see that all of these photos have now been transferred over and saved to the Star Wars Google Photos account. From this point, if I go to my Google Photos account, uh, if I click the child profile picture up top, I can see all my account settings for the Jeff Loves Star Wars account. Again, I'm going to go to my photo settings and halfway down where I see partner sharing, if I click on that, this is letting me know that my photos are being shared from the Spider-Man account. I can remove this partner at the bottom of the screen. It says remove partner. I, and before I do that, you'll see that where it says photos from Jeff in the middle of the screen, save to your account all photos. These photos have all been saved to this account. So now if I go and remove partner at the bottom of the screen, you will no longer be able to partner share with this person. We're gonna remove. I'll go to my search here and then recently added. All of these pictures are still under my Google Photos account. So regardless of what I do with my previous Spider-Man account, these Google Photos are backed up or they are saved to my Jeff Loves Star Wars account. So now I want to show you a quick tutorial of just sending one or two selected photos instead of transferring my entire account uh, if you just want to do one or two photos. So in this instance, I'm going to long press on the photo or I'm going to do these top two photos that I would like to send or share. And then from this point on the top of the screen, you'll see these different icons. It shows I've selected two pictures. In the middle of the screen at the top, you'll see the dot it uh, kind of looks like a Pac-Man getting ready to eat. Uh, I'm going to click on that. That is the Google Share icon or the Send to Some Other Place icon in Google Photos. And you'll see that it says Send in Google Photos. No contacts are currently selected. It's also giving me options on the bottom to share to different apps. But I'm going to send this to my other Google Photos account. And I can do that by clicking on the magnifying glass or the search glass that's kind of off to the right in the middle of the screen. That allows me then to type in a Google Photos account. So in this instance, I'm going to, I deleted all my photos from the Spider-Man account. So I'm gonna share these back to that account. So we'll type that in. I type it in and it knows that account, uh, it found it. So I'm going to select that. Now it's asking me to send it in Google Photos. So we're gonna click next. And I have the option to add a message if I want. And I'm going to click send. So now it is sending me here a notification that I've shared those photos. I can click on that and I am now signed in under my Spider-Man account and I can see that there are these photos that I've shared and from this point I can save these to my Spider-Man account. 
I'll notice that under each one of these photos, there's a little save that I can click on. So let's save this first photo. It now says saved. I can go to the second photo, click save. These photos are now saved to my Spider-Man account. I can then click my account icon in the upper right and make sure that I am logged into my Spider-Man account and go to my recently added, which is in the middle of the screen. And I can see these two photos that I have saved to that Google Photos account. And that is how you can specifically transfer certain photos instead of your entire collection. So I'm interested to know what reasons you might have for transferring your photos from one Google Photos account to another. Please let me know down in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please be sure to smash that like button as it helps this channel out as well as this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Tinker Ford, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell. You'll get notified every time we release new weekly videos. I use Google Photos to save space on my phone. And if you've got an iPhone and you are running out of space and you want to save some space on your phone, I've done another video here on how to save space on your iPhone. One of the ways to do that is to save your photos to Google Photos, but there are more tips and I will link to that video at the end of this video, or you can go search on our channel for it as well. My name is Jeff. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.